Hello, welcome to a new episode of How Do I UV That? where I show how to UV map a model sent by the subscribers. So in this episode, we got this pillar, looks like. Uh, it's super simple, so I don't think this episode is going to take too long. And this may actually be the first time where we actually fully and completely UV map something. And we don't leave it halfway. So anyway, let's see. So, mostly geometric shapes. Open the UV editor window. And, so no UVs here. Uh, something you could try is the automatic UV. But, I'm going to say, let's not do that. Let's go from the uh, planar map and do this manually because this is not very complex. So essentially what we're going to do as usual, we're going to break our UVs at 90 degree angles. Um, in this case, the top. It's a 90 degree angle change, but well, it's not really a 90 degree because you have the bevel. But I think you know what I mean. Uh, let's see, let's cut UVs there. Make sure you have uh, UV seams on. Okay, let's see. It's kind of strange. This showing me a UV seam here. Oh, okay. Uh, well, first things first, I'm going to make sure everything is connected. Okay, so maybe we do it now. Do play the map again. And now I should be able to cut up here. And I'm going to cut it probably, let's see, probably here. On the edge, going all the way through, through here, and there we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think we wanna cut probably here and here, and I wanna uh, merge this back on. Okay, so let's see what we get with those cuts. So let's go to that and go to modify on fold tool. I'm going to use, let's try the legacy first, see what I get. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look that great. Let's try the on fold 3D, apply and close. Okay, so this is better. Um, going to click under Arrange and Layout Orient Shell so that it's straight. So you could actually get away with something like this, actually, where you don't need to cut here. So as I said, you want to cut at 90 degree angles. So technically this right here is not a 90 degree angle because we have the bevel. So it's almost like a 45, so it goes from here to a 45, and then goes back. So it doesn't necessarily have, there doesn't necessarily have to be a cut here. Um, and same with this, uh, with the straight lines here. This is not a 90 degree angle from here to here. Um, so it doesn't necessarily, we don't necessarily have to cut here. We can leave it connected. Um, and typically what I do is to just look at the pattern here and make sure that there is no distortion. Um, in this case, there, there is a little bit here and slightly here as well. But I would say that's not always a huge deal because it depends on exactly what you're going to do. Even if you did a sculpt of this in ZBrush and baked some details, that wouldn't necessarily uh, mess up your bake too much because there's not a lot of distortion. So, well, let's finish up this. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's unfold the rest of the pieces. Let's do unfold. Let's 
So we get this, uh, what is this, the top. I'm going to orient. Click orient this as well. Now what is this piece? Oh, for some reason, let's see. Let me redo the top now. Let's do a planar map. Okay, so now that's good. Now what is this piece? So that's the side. I'm going to connect the back actually. And on that, do an unfold. Okay. And then usually I like to make sure that these are straight. So what I do is I go to, let's see. Uh, oh, here does it say straighten UVs. I set it to 45. Click on it and it makes sure that the UVs are completely straight. It's a pretty nice feature of the new Maya 2018. Let's do the same with this. It's oriented. Let's try the straight just to see what we get. Nope, that doesn't look good. So I'll just leave it. Um, and I'm going to do a layout, modify layout. This puts everything inside. Let's check distortion again. Okay, so top looks good. I will keep that connected like that. And this, it will be up to you, I guess. I would say it's not wrong to leave it this way. But if you, I guess if you want it to be more clean with it, um, you could always separate these pieces. Looking at it, I think we should cut it here actually. So this is a big uh, angle change. Cut that there. Start to unfold that again. Okay, we get that. Which is mm, not that great actually. I think it was better before. Yeah, let's change that back. So as I was saying, you could uh, cut these more. Unfold this one and this as well. Let's do an orient shell. So we're starting to get just a little bit less distortion. Actually, we'll probably have to cut these all the way on each side. Fold this, fold this one, do an orient shells. I think that's looking better for that. So yeah, this is less distortion here. So that's essentially what I would do. This one probably needs to be a little bit straighter. Probably we'll have to do something like this. Straighten it a little bit. But yeah, that will give you just slightly cleaner UVs than keeping it together. 
but as I said before, uh, the other one was just as good. There shouldn't be a huge uh, problem doing that. Then finally, what I would do is do a UV layout and just make sure there's not a lot of wasted space. Uh, and yeah, that pretty much, you want to make sure everything's in the 0 to 1 space here. And that pretty much wraps up this video on how to UV map this pillar. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And yeah, if you want to see your model be potentially UV mapped in a video, just follow the instructions in the video description. So yeah, thank you for watching. Did you like the finished model? Do you want to learn how I made this stylized material I always use in all my models? Check the link in the description below to learn how to make it from scratch with my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a stylized material within Substance Painter.